So I'm a bad teacher. Um, I'm going to try again. The, the key to getting a good deep vibrato really is the connection between your finger and the string. It's not so much what you're doing with, with the rest of uh, your wrist or your hand. So when people talk about horizontal vibrato, where the, the string is simply moving up and down, you almost never hear that. I mean, that's what this is the sound of pure horizontal vibrato. And that, that's not a sound you're typically going to hear from, you know, an experienced player. Even when people have a big wrist shake thing going on the key is that their finger is really planted you watch bb king and it's going nuts but his finger is really planted on there and that finger is not doing this the fingers really got a big kind of elliptical thing going getting at getting the vibrato depth if you don't have a good connection between your finger and the string you you can't get it so whether you have a vibrato where your hand isn't moving much at all connection. Um, I'm not big into telling people to, sh to, to do a big shaky thing only because when you're trying to view other notes, it's hard to be shaking around it all over and it's pretty hard to like do a big shake thing when you're in some positions. Um, So the key really is that, that your finger has to have a good solid connection with the guitar, which is which is you get in time. Um, but the depth does come from the note going both flat and sharp. I tend to play a lot of vibrato with very minimal hand movement. I like to add vibrato to the chords. Once again, I'm a bad teacher.